Good day to you, dear Odooers, or good evening. Welcome to this Odoo lesson about bank statements and reconciliation. Keeping our accounting up to date is a continuous task that requires a lot of attention and focus. To be sure that we follow up on invoices and bills correctly, that our accounting is accurate, and that our auditors will be happy, it's important to properly reconcile our records. In other words, to know what has been paid, what still needs to be paid, and ensure that all of our entries are balanced and in agreement. For example, I issued an invoice to my client, Ixtrazel, and I just received their payment. You can see here that both entries affect the account receivable. However, they've been written in different journals. But all I see here is that I was entitled to receive $1,000 and that I received $1,000 on my bank account. It doesn't mean intrinsically that these two entries are related and that my client has paid for that specific invoice. Well, reconciling is just that, to link two entries and specify that they balance each other and not other entries. Now, to make sure that our records are truly correct, I connected our company's bank account to my Odoo database so that all bank statements are automatically uploaded. With this, I can also reconcile the entries with the bank statements and be sure our accounting is accurate. One last thing. Keeping our entries reconciled on a daily basis allows us to know the current status of a payment. Has my customer paid my invoices? Have I paid my suppliers? Now that we've covered this, let's see how it works in Odoo. All right, so here I am on my database, specifically looking at the accounting overview in the accounting application. Now let's go ahead and look at the overview uh, for our journal, Bank. All right, and from this overview, we have a couple of options. We can um, create or import bank statements. We can even configure our bank with Odoo here as well by clicking on the configure button. So we're going to have a list of banks, and we simply need to search for our institution. So we can either do that in our country or worldwide. So let's go ahead and look for First Bank in the U.S., for example. We're going to have a list of all of the First Banks, and we can connect with our bank by simply clicking on it and then click on connect. Then we will be prompted to add our bank credentials so that we can link Odoo and the bank together. This way we can um, quickly synchronize our bank statements with Odoo and it's just really a, an easy, painless process. Now, something I want to point out before moving on from this page is that you might see some banks uh, that say beta next to them. Beta is a, a testing phase for these banks. So um, it's a testing phase uh, for the bank integrator. All right, so that means that you might be able to connect with these banks. However, you might also receive um, some error codes or uh, the connection will not always be uh, successful. You won't always be able to synchronize. So we suggest uh, that you do not connect with banks that are in beta phase because they are not consistently su successful. In fact, um, Odoo support does not handle issues with banks that are in beta since they are known to have issues. All right, but if it's in beta, that's good news because that means at some point it will be fully supported. All right, but I'm actually not going to um, configure my bank with Odoo, but in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create bank statements or um, import them. All right, so first, let's start with an invoice. So I'm going to go to new invoice. Let's choose our customer. We're going to add the product. Okay, let's say a quantity of 10 and validate. Now, after I validate, I'm going to go ahead and register a payment by clicking on the register payment button. Now, of course, um, Odoo will suggest that I should register a payment for the total of the invoice. But in this case, I'm only going to register a partial payment. So I'm going to go ahead and say 500 here. I also have my payment date and my memo, as well as my payment journal, which in this case is bank. Now, since I'm only registering a partial payment, I also have the option to keep this open or mark the invoice as fully paid. I do want to register uh, the second part of the payment later, so I'm gonna keep it open. So let's go ahead and validate for now. Once we click on validate, if we scroll down, we're gonna see that $500 was paid on this date. We have more information by clicking on the little I. We have all of the payment information and we can see that this payment is reconciled with the invoice. All right, now let's go to customers payments. What we're going to do now is manually create a payment. Okay, so we're going to click on create. Of course, we're going to say we'll receive money. Choose the partner. So I'm going to say the rest uh, of the amount for the invoice. Okay, so $477.50. All right, for the memo, I'm going to go ahead and say um, second part of invoice 2019-0001. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this because I'm gonna use it later on. All right, so this will be my payment communication. Now I'm gonna click on confirm. Now once I confirm, I'm gonna have some smart buttons at the top. So I'll have my journal, uh, my journal items, and also I have this button payment matching. So let's go ahead and click on that. 
All right, from here, I can reconcile that invoice um, with the payment that I just created manually. All right, so I'll add both of these lines and then reconcile. Once I reconcile, I'm going to see this cool rainbow and a smiley saying, congrats, you've reconciled one transaction in nine seconds. All right, now let's go to back to the overview. All right, and if I check out bank again, I'm going to see that um, I have a balance in my general ledger and I have difference here. So let's go ahead and check out the details of this by clicking on um, the word difference, okay? So the first thing I notice here is that I have some validated payments that are not linked with uh, bank statement lines. Okay, so I have two. And actually, I'm going to annotate the second one because this is the second payment for uh, with a different account because I want to be sure I keep track of everything that's going on. Okay, and we're going to save. I see this annotated because I have that marker right there. All right, so let's go back to the overview. And what we're going to do is actually create a bank statement manually. Okay, so of course we're going to need a reference. So let's say 2019-0001. All right, and we're going to add a couple of lines. Okay, so I'm going to make the label that invoice, add the part, uh, the partner. Okay, the first amount was 500. Okay, we're going to go ahead, add a line, um, invoice. But again, this time I'm going to say second part of this invoice, again, add the partner, and the rest, which was 477.50. Now let me move my face so that we can see everything that's happening here. All right, so I have uh, both of those amounts that I just added, and that gives me a computed balance, which we're also going to make the ending balance. Okay, 977.50, and then we're gonna save this. Let me move my face back, perfect. Then we're going to go back to the overview, and now I see that there's not a difference anymore. So let's go ahead and check out the details of that again by clicking on these three little dots, and we're going to go to the reconciliation report. So now I still have those validated payments not linked with bank statement lines, but I also have unreconciled bank statement lines as well. So what do we need to do? We need to reconcile these. We need to link them together. So let's go to our overview. We're going to see that we have two items to reconcile. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we can reconcile the first one, and then we're going to go ahead and um, reconcile the second as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add this to that and reconcile. Perfect. We see that uh, we're all done. We've reconciled two transactions in 13 seconds, and that's on average seven seconds per transaction. No bragging. <laughs> so now we're going to go back to the overview, and we see that we no longer have anything left to reconcile. And the last thing I want to say about that, uh, recording payments and recording it later with bank statements is useful when your statements aren't updated often. For example, if you get paid with checks and you still want to keep your entries reconciled on a regular basis. Now, it's not necessary to record payments first on Odoo as you can choose to reconcile your journal entries directly with your bank statements. This is probably what you'll want to go for if your bank statements are continuously updated by your bank. Um, so if you have configured your bank with Odoo and you synchronize online. All right, so now what we're going to do actually is duplicate that invoice we created earlier. So we're going to go to customer invoices. We're going to duplicate this, okay, and validate. All right, once it's validated, we aren't going to register a payment just yet. We're going to go back to the overview, and we're going to um, import a bank statement. So let's go ahead and upload our file. All right, let me go to my downloads. All right, I have a, a file to upload, a CSV file, and I'm going to click on import. I'm going to go ahead and import. Okay, I see that the two records were successfully imported. Okay, so then I'm going to go back to my overview, and now I see that I can reconcile two items. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So this first one matches perfectly with that invoice. So let's go ahead and reconcile this. Now, I want to point out that these lines aren't blue like we saw earlier, and that's because I didn't register that payment. So I didn't have a payment registered that I ha haven't registered with the bank statement. I simply did not register a payment yet, but I'm going to go ahead and reconcile these. Okay, so that's good. Now I have, uh, it seems like I have paid my um, bank fee already. And actually, this is a monthly fee. So I'm going to make reconciling this fee really easy for me. So what I'm going to do is go to configuration, reconciliation models, and I'm going to create a new one. Okay, it's going to be called bank fees. Okay, I'm going to say manually create a write-off on clicked button. 
Okay, I'm going to choose the account. So, of course, I'm going to choose my uh, bank fees account. Okay. For the tax, I'm going to say it's 15% purchase. All right. And then I am going to say that the tax is included in the price. Then we can save. All right. I'll go back to the overview and I'm going to reconcile that last item. And now I can click this button, bank fees, that I just created. Okay. Simple is easy. And I'm going to create a write-off for that. So it's just a really cool tool that we have. And then we can click on reconcile, which I'm going to do right now. And voila. I did one transaction in 13 seconds. So that's really cool. Now let's go to configuration. And uh, let's see if the rainbow goes away. We're going to go to configuration, bank accounts. We're going to go to our account bank. And there's just something I want to talk about quickly. This option here, post at bank uh, reconciliation. So this means that Odoo will post the entries in the journal only after the bank statements have been reconciled. This adds an extra layer of security to be sure your records are accurate if you decide to work this way. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.